Hi, I'm Raz Adoti, actor filmmaker. You may know me from films such as Black Hawk Down, Cover, Resident Evil, Amistad, Doom, Haven, to name a few. And don't forget to check me out in the summoning upcoming next year. Getting Amistad was such a blessing. I really, I really didn't believe that I was gonna get that part. It was never about whether or not I could do it. It was about, would I be given this opportunity by Steven Spielberg in the face of all these other tremendous actors who are out there in the States as well as in the UK? Because I was cast for that when I was still in London. And I remember I was working with David, David Ayolowa on that project. Me and him were partnered together uh, for the audition of that and Chiwetel was partnered with Idris. And uh, yeah, in the end they took myself and they took Chiwetel. Uh, and I was just blown away. And it just meant so much to me as a Nigerian, as an African, don't even worry about Nigeria for the moment, as an African just because it was part of our story as well as America's story and as well as UK story as well. I remember saying after I got the part that if I don't work a day as an actor again after this, it's all been worthwhile. Steven Spielberg is just uh, he's an amazing director, an amazing person. I'll never forget the first time we saw him. He came into the rehearsal room one day. He was just humble, like no one knew he was even there. When, even when we did see he was there, he was just kind of like in the corner just watching. And I just remember thinking, wow, man, that's really interesting. And I loved him for that. From the first moment I met him and saw him, I loved him for that. There's one particular day where uh, we're shooting a scene and my character Yamba in the story, he found a, a marriage, a way to kind of marry Islam and Christianity through this picture book Bible that he was given by one of the missionaries. And, uh, you know, he's going through a process of um, eventually explaining the story to Sinke, Jaiman Honsu's character. But um, before that, when he was learning about the Bible, there was a scene that we shot, I'm in the jail cell with all the other captives in there, you know, shackled up, chained up, whatever. And I've got the picture Bible, and there's a little ray of light that's coming from the ceiling. There's, there was bars at the ceiling, because there was bars on the side and at the top. And I'm trying to get, like, a little ray of moonlight to hit the page so I can read or see these pictures at least. And uh, this is all Spielberg's idea. So, and this is the first time I've ever had this. He literally was like, okay, okay, okay. Now, now, okay, slowly turn the page. And this is, we're running with the camera. Slowly turn the page, I turn the page. Now, look up, look up a little bit. Okay, now think, think about it. And look this way, but he was literally calling out the dark. I've never in my life had this before or since. When I walked to the camera, behind the camera, everyone was like, great job, man, great job. And I'm like, really? And I watched the footage on the camera and it looked fantastic. And everyone was saying, great job. And I was like, you know what, I can't even take credit for this. I mean, I have to give it to Mr. Spielberg. I mean, he was the one who saw what he saw and was directing what he wanted. Like, he was truly orchestrating that. And it's in the movie. Like, I remember it clear. I was like, wow, he used it as well. That's just crazy.